Froggy Goes to the Doctor by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Rimkiewicz. Froggy woke up. Hooray, he thought. No school today. It's my checkup day. I can get up late. But wait, wait. What if the doctor wants to give me a shot? Froggy, called his mother. What? It's time to get up, dear. I don't want to get up, said Froggy. It's time for your checkup, said his mother. Now. Froggy crawled out of bed and flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. It's time to see Dr. Mugwort, said his mother. Dr. Mugwort was the wife of Froggy's principal, Mr. Mugwort. I don't want to see Dr. Mugwort, groaned Froggy. I feel fine, see? Froggy hopped onto the table and tried to make a muscle. It's just a checkup, said Froggy's mother. Now go get dressed and don't forget to brush and put on clean underwear. So Froggy flopped back to his room to get dressed. Flop, flop, flop. At the doctor's office, they had to sit a long time in the waiting room. Froggy was worried. What if I need a shot? Then in came Frogelina with her mother. Hi, Froggy, said Frogelina. She bounced down right beside him. Froggy scooted away. Frogelina scooted closer. Froggy scooted away and fell off the bench. Boink. Froggy, said his mother. What? Sit up, dear, and please sit still. But it was hard to sit still. He made a paper airplane and threw it in the air. Zwoosh. Just as Dr. Mugwort stepped into the room, it circled once, it circled twice, then hit her smack in the eye. Zow. Oops, said Froggy. Follow me, said Dr. Mugwort. She was not a happy doctor. She told Froggy to step on the scale, measured how tall he was, then led him and his mother into a room and said, Take off all your clothes, Froggy, except for your underwear, and put on this paper gown. The doctor closed the door behind her. Froggy took off his shoes, pulled off his socks, unbuttoned his shirt, unzipped his pants, and looked down. Oops, cried Froggy. Mom! I forgot my underwear. Froggy's mother laughed. Then she cut holes in a paper pillowcase and made a pair of underwear held together with safety pins. But mom, whined Froggy, they look like diapers. He quickly pulled on his paper gown. Zip! Dr. Mugwort came back in. She took his temperature, felt his tummy. Oh, that tickles, giggled Froggy, and looked in his eyes with a light. Please don't cross your eyes, Froggy. She didn't look in his ears. Froggy didn't have any ears. Then she looked in his mouth. She said, Say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, said Dr. Mugwort and almost fell on the floor. Your breath smells like dead flies. Oops, said Froggy. I guess I forgot to brush. She stood up and rubbed her stethoscope. Now this may feel cold, she said, and pressed it against his back. Yikes, yelled Froggy. He grabbed the stethoscope and shouted, It's freezing! Again, Dr. Mugwort almost fell on the floor. Then she said, Now, Froggy, let's check your reflexes. She tapped his knee with a little rubber hammer. Nothing. She tapped it a little harder. Bonk! And he up flew his foot right into her chin. Clack! This time, Dr. Mugwort did fall on the floor. Oops! cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Dr. Mugwort stood up and glared at him. Time for your shot, Froggy, she said. Just kidding. Then she gave him a gold star and a lollipop and said, you're a very healthy frog, and smiled. See, Mom, said Froggy, I told you I was fine. Froggy stuck the gold star on his forehead and the lollipop in his mouth, got dressed, zip, 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 zip and then leapfrogged with his mother, flop, 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 all the way to the exit. Hey, Mom, said Froggy, that was fun. Let's come back to see Dr. Mugwort real soon. Not too soon, said Dr. Mugwort, waving goodbye. The end.